Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's your hobby cat here with some more of that face. And today, we're gonna go help out someone, Kinsey. Just try to clear out some of this extra stuff. The loyalty is useful. What kind of matter? I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. That's... vague. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. Sure it is. A uh, small amount of upgrades. I was going to go get... Uh, Upgrade my weapons of friendly fire. Realize that the amount of cash I had was just enough to cover a different upgrade I needed. And I upgraded my pistol. I upgrade, I gave it the ability to upgrade. I'm not even sure it's possible. And I want a vehicle. Take my pulse. Huh. Mackenzie does fit. Go figure. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to take a second person on here. Hey, are you firing a shotgun behind us? Is that a better adjustment? I've been testing different ways for my mic to be set up, so I'd actually had to tilt it a little more towards me. But with the um, pickup pattern, I guess you could say it has, I don't know if that's actually better or worse. I don't know if it'll allow us to actually keep Kenzie with us for this. The greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. Sure, why not? Ooh, yeah, that definitely seems to be better. I think it's the angle I had the microphone at if I was soft. Oh, Sorry. the three count. Seems every time I'm here, I never have time to just sit back and enjoy the games. And I get the herp. Loosest slots in Steelport. 
Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. This simulation better be awesome, man. Okay, here comes trouble. Oh, this is ridiculous, this and I already like it. This is the army of minions? Zombies? Who has an army of zombies? You uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are a pressing matter, Matt. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Well, uh, Matt, is this Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please, I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon-breaking Mary Sues and... Oh, so you've read it. Well, of course I've read it! How long have you been working on this simulation? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three when it seemed Nightblade may be retired. So he set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, man. Sweet, sweet. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. No, oh, I'm not judging. You're not? No, oh, no, I am. But I really don't want to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. My condolences on your loss. All right, now that we've actually stopped talking for a moment. Good work, uh, you two. Especially you, Matt. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. So where is he? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! And I completely missed a joke I was going to start with. But, um... Now that Matt's finally talking, I gotta know, why has he been reading Fifty Shades of Grey? I mean, he, he kept talking about that poorly edited fan fiction and everything. And that is, from everything I understand, basically what Fifty Shades of Grey started as was Twilight fanfic. Which, uh, I mean, kind of says everything right there, if you, you know. No, I was actually standing up on a railway and I was going to start with, I am Batman. I know, absolutely terrible impression. Because I wasn't trying. Hello, Matt. It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Now, what I really wish I could have done is, uh, you know, insert the Will Arnett, I am Batman from Lego Batman. That would have just been great. I don't want to use that car. Okay, Kenzie, I retrieved the vehicle for you just in case. Matt, are you going to drive or do I drive? Looks like I'm driving. If he borrows this thing, he can fill it up. Onward toward battle. So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. At least a little bit. Killing zombies is never not fun, Matt. That's why they're called zombies. Well, I knew you were having a good time. Is this simulation really made for Asha? Originally? Yes. Why did she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. I'm sorry, Matt. And I'm fairly sure we all gained a lot of respect for Asha right there. Attacked en route to the main villain. Nicely played, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So I'm never really up to date on Nightblade fiction. Who are the Cyprian Order again? The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace and was turned into one such creature, a vampire. Uh, okay, so now the Cyprian Order hunt Nightblade too? That's right. Oh, okay, but Nightblade still fights vampires along with fighting the Cyprian Order? Correct. That sounds 
compelling. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Sure it is. Have you had time to build this? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many simulations is Asha having you build? I don't know, a dozen? A dozen? She likes to keep her skills honed. And you'll do pretty much anything she says, Matt. You know, there's a term for that. It's called a term. Matt, you are a simp. So, light blade, huh? What else can you tell me? Like, does he have a love interest or anything? Oh, oh, oh my God, yes. Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A lone man wandering the earth looking for justice. Never to love again. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. It's a good line. One of the finest ever written. I don't know about that. I wonder where Brad is taking you tonight. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak. Shit. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What, get up. what are you doing to my story? Matt, get back. I will not. I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction. Matt, get back. Matt Miller. I thought you were my ally. But I am. Now. I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! So much overacting. Ooh, this is already so much better. This is terrible! I need you to focus. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Sure, for this, you know, because up until now, Zinyak's crimes haven't been that bad. You're not taking this seriously! I'm trying to save our lives, Matt. Ow. You are far too weak, mere human. I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. Oh, Kenzie's recording this. You'll never have me, vile assassin. I can't take this anymore. Apparently, I ran out of ammo. Ow. Oh, he went up top. Okay. The moment I walked into that underground shithole the crew was setting up in, I knew it all had potential. So the Saints had been out of the game a while. So what? We had the boss and we had Johnny Gat. What more did we need? I knew I was a little rough around the edges, but I was willing to learn. Then the boss goes and throws me the Sons of Sandy. Now that was a drag. Nice little bit from fun Shandy there. I gotta admit, I may not be the biggest fan of this, but the precision is rather nice. You are far too weak, mere human. Forgive me, Franklin Knight. Don't worry, everyone. That one threw a car and hit me. Almost got him. It's done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry things ended this way. 
typical writer can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. But we're not done yet. We're not? Not until you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The fight against the creatures of the night and the fellows that turned on him must continue, Matt. Don't let Franklin Knight have died in vain. So, you do understand. Don't tell anyone. Ooh. Matt, if it makes any difference. Yes? As the sole living world leader from planet Earth, this is probably within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, and licenses, possible merchandise, to the Nightblade property. You what? On one condition. Of course. Never stop. Downside is I didn't have my powers to go grab those, uh, clusters. But hey, that's a uh, Miller's loyalty mission, so at least that's done. And now we get super homie Matt Miller. I have my powers back. All right. Good, I needed those. Let's see. Uh, you know what? In case this ends up taking a while, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, let's see. That'd be vehicles. Dubstep. Uh, Sid suit. Collectible finder. We are going to have to get that done here sooner than later. Blast damage. Uh, Actually, that might not be a bad idea since I've been using Blast a lot more. New gateway, I do need to deal with that. And then we've still got the story stuff to get back to. All right. Well, hey, with that being said, I appreciate spending time with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that standard YouTube jazz. I'm your hobby cat, and I'll see you all in the next one.